Now, there are associated risks with this trans procedure. But... We are at the library in Ballard High School. If the genes are right, then it can happen. And what my students are doing is they have been tasked with being a genetic counselor. Huntington's itself is caused by a mutated form of a protein. Called this the... class is medical interventions, and for the past couple weeks we've been learning about genetic testing and screening. So our students have been learning about all types of different genetic disorders and the different types of tests that they can do um, to test for those. And so, yeah, screening tests will basically tell you, like, if the blood is clotting properly, if you have any problems with clotting blood. It's like talking to a real patient, almost. Give me, like, practice, like, in the future, when I eventually do become, like, a doctor and I have to, like, consult a patient, it gives me like that practice. At the start of the week, they were presented with a series of cases of family members or individuals with a genetic disorder. And then through the course of the week, had to research the biology of the disease, the inheritance pattern, treatments for the disease. People with schizophrenia may struggle brushing their teeth or brushing their hair. They're going to be presenting their information to their patients, the students from Cameras Healthcare Science Academy. It gives you like that one-on-one -on -one experience, which is really important in the future because like you'll be taking all the interviews, you'll be talking with like many different people and saying like, what did you do? What did you learn? I am hoping that my kids are learning, in addition to the science, strong communication skills, um, how to communicate some of this more complex information with individuals who may not have as strong of a science background with them. Also, this could be used for like a job interview, like you have to like tell someone about yourself. When you're more like hands-on or like even when we do like labs or like other projects, I feel like this is like way more like intensive. If we're just sitting behind computers or like we're just taking notes in class, it's not as hands-on and you're not learning as much and you don't really like soak up any of the information. Whereas if you have like one-on-one, -on -one, you understand like how other people like look on the inside and it kind of like helps to give you more of like a understanding. My hope is just they increase their confidence in science and in biology and in communication and they really can take from this also how to be advocates of their own health care. So when they're speaking to medical professionals, they know some of the vocabulary, and they know what to expect maybe with potential testing.